Uh, welcome to this exercise on unit vector and vector direction. Uh, it is uh, again an IGCSE uh, additional mathematics question and also suitable for uh, further pure maths one and for high school algebra. Uh, there are two parts to this question. Uh, I think the first part carries uh, just two marks, I think. Right, now it says uh, given that uh, vector A is equal to 5i minus 12j and that vector B is equal to pi plus j. Find, for the first part, say find uh, the unit vector in the direction of A. Right, now you don't have to do this in the exam, but what I've done here is to do a grid to show uh, vector A, and that's what I've got here. Okay, that's vector A there. Right, now if you, the, the product of the magnitude of vector A and the unit vector will give you the vector, will give you vector A. So, mag, mag, so the magnitude of vector A times A hat, which is a unit vector, is equal to vector A. So A hat, which is a unit vector, is equal to vector A divided by the magnitude. Right. Now, firstly, we should find the magnitude of vector A and uh, that gives us that uh, so the magnitude of vector A is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. Effectively, we're using Pythagoras here. So when we open up our brackets, we find that the magnitude, the magnitude, the magnitude of vector A is uh, the square root of 169, which is 13. Now, we can find a hat, which is the unit vector, and a hat is the uh, the vector a divided by the magnitude, and uh, that will give us 1 over 13 times 5i minus 12j, where 5i minus 12j is the unit vector a. Okay, now we can write this as uh, 5i over 13 minus 12i minus 12j over 13. Now, what I've done here is to uh, show uh, the unit vector there. That's the unit vector there. And the unit vector is 5i over 13 minus 12i minus 12j over 13. Right, now for part two, and that says find the values of the constants P and Q such that QA plus B is equal to 19i minus 23j. So we then do um, Q times uh, A at where A is 5i minus 12j plus B which is PI plus J and that's equal to 19i minus 23j. Expand the brackets we then have 5QI minus 5QJ plus PI plus 1j. Now, I'll put 1j there because that makes life easier for me when I come to do the, the calculation later on. Okay, and that's equal to 19i minus 23j. Now, for the i component, we have that 5q plus p is equal to 19. And for the j component, we have that 1 minus 12q, yeah, 1 minus 12q is equal to minus 23. Now for equation 2, if we add 12q to both sides and add 23 to both sides, we end up with 24 or 12q is equal to 24. Which that means that q is equal to 2. If we now substitute q is equal to 2 into equation 1, we have that 10 plus p is equal to 19. So p is equal to nine okay but to tidy things up a bit uh, p is equal to nine and q is equal to two please subscribe if you haven't already done so and thank you for watching hopefully see you again sometime bye bye